Welcome to my new video. This time it's a guide about warped terror birds as a slayer task. Many of you think these are the one of the worst tasks you can get because they are horrible exp and also very annoying to do because you have to use the crystal chimes all the time. So I will show you how to do these effectively because if you do them right these can be very fast exp up to 50k per hour. Uh, so let's start with the equipment. You will take the typical Slayer equipment, which should be like this with Proselyte for the prayer bonus because you will be praying all the time. For the inventory, well, a teleport to get out of the task, a holy wrench to get a little more out of prayer potions, dragon dagger super poison, it should be normal. Crystal chimes are very important because if you forget these, uh, you can't kill them. That's stupid to forget them. A cannon and the cannonballs of course to do these fast. Um, two supersets I suggest using Sarah Bruce because you can get hit a lot by these and just in case so you have a little more defense. Also for the healing a unicorn. Um, if you don't have the right summoning level you can use a bunyip instead. Just make sure you have enough for healing like pizzas of two so you don't die and or have to tailor out because you can get a lot or if you're lucky you don't get hit at all it's a bit random and prayer potions for the praying you will be praying um, against range and superhuman strange and um, super energy potions so you can run all the time and don't have to walk a bit so you start at the spirit tree near grand exchange um, so you will need the I the glue free quest line to use this last location but if you don't have done the quest you won't get the task either so well so you run into the dungeon so I can tell you one thing I will agree with about your opinion these are very annoying to do you have to use a chime all the time and it takes really a lot of attention make prayer on here it takes a lot of attention to get fast apps. You have to click all the time, reload cannons, um, heal, um, recharge prayer and so on. So it's probably very annoying for you. Okay, you run through this room, uh, through the ladders. Uh, in this large room in the west end we will kill the terror birds. This is a good time to summon the unicorn. Make sure your HP is about full. So you run to this location and you put up this cannon. One, two, three, four. Spaces north of the sewer. Sometimes it doesn't let you put up the cannon. It's some bug I think. Just try again and it works. Um, I suggest using auto retaliate off at this task. And before you start I suggest chiming all the terror birds. And start. Don't forget to pot. And start slaying them. Reload can and attack the next one. That it takes a lot of attention because they don't stay chimed forever. After a while, you will have to re chime, so it's also a good idea to just re chime after a bit if they aren't dead yet. And use your dragon special, dragon dagger special, of course, and re chime them as fast as you can. Mm -hmm. You it's also very likely that you misclick a lot because they move very strangely, you could say. Um the drops many are worth picking up like these. Um they drop commonly rune warhammers and rune kites. But also the stackable drops, most of them are worth picking up, like also for bolt the mm, 
The tips like emerald, ruby, they drop most of them, many kinds. Uh, Swamp Tower is also worth picking up. It, it really adds up because they all are all stackable drops. They only take one inventory space each. You won't regret picking them up because you d don't lose much of time and get a lot of extra money. Even though you use a lot of cannonballs, so with the drops you shouldn't really make a loss. Should be close to zero total with the drops and use cannonballs and prayer potions. So sometimes the cannon will hit the turtle there, but don't care much about that because it really happens rarely. You don't waste too much of cannonballs for that. And yeah, it really doesn't matter. Ignore it. Uh, yeah, that's about it. I will let the video show a bit more of my slang so you can get a better impression. But I think that's all of the comments you could get. So enjoy the rest of the video, I hope you liked it and you maybe you will decide to slay these as well for fast X. Uh, before I forget, they don't drop any charms, so if you are focused on summoning at your slayerness, you probably won't like these because you don't get any summoning exp at all. But really, it's one of the fastest exp you can get, so I really suggest doing these. Unless, of course, it's too annoying for you because you have to click all the time and again and again and again. Yeah, that's about it. Enjoy me slaying. And see you in my next video.